Hello, everybody. How on a day? I'd like to address one small issue. There has somebody been great discussions about homosexual people. LGBTQIA B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W S Y Z. I mean, I just just give them all the alphabets. At this point, just give them all the alphabets. L G B T Q I A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W S Y Z. Everybody, yours. Check it now. I know going to like the underlying reason of the argument. Boy, make one point. And that point for me was so at the core. The point was so ludicrous. As we will talk now, ludicrous. The point was so out of touch with reality. I can't realize it more. Religion really they make people they they think out of their mind though. Like don't they think re- according to what they happen? They just based on what they inside their own head. They project what they inside their own head on top of everything. So anything they happen, no matter. Now that's what they project inside their own head. Now be the cocoa of the issue. So in say now because they, they protect children. You see, Africans must protect their children. I was so surprised by this point. And I hope, say, not to say many of them too, where they homophobic. I believe, say, that they homophobic because that they protect children. This shit is crazy, fam. Now, statistically speaking, Statistically speaking, in terms of child abuse, if to say Africans really they interested in protecting our children from abuse, if they interested in protecting African children from forget mental abuse, forget mind, physical abuse, rape, beating, torture, kidnap. Physical abuse. If Africans are invested in protecting their children from physical abuse, I cannot say all children in Africa will be banned from church and mosque. All children in Africa will be banned from church and mosque. Because statistically speaking, the churches and the mosques have harmed more children physically, physically, from beating to rape. In fact, the Catholic Church, there's something in America called the Southern, uh, well, the Baptist Church, Southern National Baptist Convention. That's what they call it in America. Where all the old churches, they gather. The amount of black children are black, you know, the Baptists, they are mostly black churches. Almost, I watched the documentary, the amount of children, they have hundreds, thousands uncountable children for nigeria uncle even for nigeria i don't want to go catch some children where one pastor tie inside bush they kill them they beat them they be winch how many children have been killed in church? one church they find one picking where they bury them under puppets <laughs> and they wonder say for which world do we as africans have the audacity to say eh, we are homophobic because we are protecting. I don't want to talk the point or the argument. I don't know the point. Whether homosexual good or bad is not my. I don't want to discuss that one. Too. Don't be the lie of today with that. The lie of today is the delusion that we are protecting our children. No, 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 
No, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no. All my friends, eh? We go, we go, all those, eh, K1 eh, when we're small. The beat when they say they beat them there. I don't want to say the thing that my one Muslim friend that went to that school told me, ah, uh, eh, K U Tisha was doing to her. <laughs> oh, wow. Africans, please. Please, please, please. Please, I'm begging you people. Remove that part from the argument. Remove that part from the argument. Say, in the case we are protecting the children, we are. No, 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 no. With the amount of abuse our children go through in the religious institutions, and we still indoctrinate them inside, we still send them there, means that we don't care really about the safety of our children. I try from the people that are in, that institu in those institutions to bring out that kind of argument from such rotting institutions is wrong. Don't remove that one from the argument. Argue another one. Let's talk another thing. Let's talk another thing entirely. Like, uh, it's unnatural. Animals don't do it. In the age of Google, I say, ah, oh yeah, open your YouTube. Oh yeah, lifestyle Google. Gay dog, gay lion, gay tiger, gay tortoise. Video day day. <laughs> people, you people don't know how crazy this world is. Anyway, I digress. So many mad, stupid people exist in the world. As I say, you know, in this our time, some people are too stupid self to be slaves. You know, it's so far gone. You know, so secondly, a lot of delusion. You know, like we live, we live in a world where everybody they fear nuclear disaster. Hey, nuclear disaster! Make nuclear bomb, not destroy the world. Everybody they fear it. nuclear bomb. Whereas my mentor Diallo point out to me, say we are already living in a nuclear holocaust. Humanity is already living in a nuclear holocaust. Nuclear waste is all over the world based on the amount of nuclear tests the nuclear powers carry out. Where do you think all those nuclear waste is going? They are exploding all these bombs in the name of testing nuclear energy. They are blowing up nuclear bombs everywhere. Where do you think it, the waste is going? Humanity is already living in a nuclear holocaust. The billionaires of this world, the powerful people, they are all taking medicine that protect them from it. Medicine that you cannot get. Even if you can afford it. If you know that you cannot get it. The rate of cancer alone, it has entered into all our food. The people don't talk about all these things. It's in all the things we eat, all the things we drink. It has entered into the soil of the earth. It is in the fishy, in every fish that they test. For even... Forget microplastic on another level. The plastics on bio, when of it biodegrade. It cannot rust, it cannot it just spring through into the tiny pieces inside all the fish. That one day. Nuclear waste. It's in everything. Due to the powers that be of this world, I think that they know better than those that choose to live in balance with human with, with nature. Just because you can do something, does that mean you have to do it? That's the lesson that our ancestors knew. That's the knowledge that they had. That Europeans thought that, oh, they were too smart. That because you can do something does not mean you should do it. Just because you can beat your children does not mean you should beat them, although many of you like to beat your children. Because the system is beating you. And you don't get courage. You know? You don't get uh, the courage. To stand up to the system, your gang will yab you for work, humiliate you in front of your co-workers. Because you know, say work is hard to find. You can't stand your, you can't retaliate. You can't talk your mind. You go swell one, go rich road. Police go give you your own slap. You know, if you do anything, you go obtain your money for your pocket. You go enter your house before you're picking. Just break small cup, cup. You don't give her a dirty slap. 
Attaque-moi d'eau qui crée à toi. You know, if only our children knew, or if only they know that it's not there, we are trying to beat. <laughs> I'm telling you, so that's why many people are more interested in talking about people, issues about people. No matter how it is, issue about people is nothing but gossip. Just gossip, everybody likes to gossip, yes. And gossip cannot change anything. Except that person is directly affecting your life. I said, be talking about that, about that person directly brings change to the system. Why you watch your business with what people are doing with their lives? You know? Anyway, so many things that we are delusional about. We need to open our eyes and see. Mm. Also, I make one comment for my mom. VDBM, very dark black man. I make comment for him. Paid. No, 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 no. Is that the talk? Oh, wrong story. Oh, my friend, that Oyibo Rebe, that one, that white boy with the that white Niger boy. Oyibo Rebe. I make comment for him. Paid because I think they speak our language. One person one content I say no be Niger boy. He can't swear for the person. Me, I can't make comments. Say ah, even though we they speak their own language for that side, now go back to your country. Now you people they always tell us so. Oh. As usual, I don't talk. I say no matter where you day in this world, if you like, I tell you one day test this thing. Just take like you. So far there don't be four black people inside one place. I don't know where you people from do this jazz. Anywhere we you people from do this medicine. Where you people from do this medicine. Oh, this is the most powerful medicine. I don't know where Oyibo then do this medicine. This medicine is strong. Once four black people they somewhere, see eh? Even if you not like, how it go put on underground, inside like underground, when nobody feel see, nobody feel hear, no camera. You are only black people there. Four black, what's not reach for? Just talk one thing. One thing about white people. One thing. Just talk. One thing about white people, I swear, one person said that for people go talk to lawyer for them. He go collect lawyer work. I, see, I don't know who employ them. That, that's why you know that white people have mad money. White people have mad money. Nobody, <laughs> because you must be employed to work like there must be somebody paying these people. Once <laughs> one black person must stand up. <laughs> ah! I don't know who has done this shit. What? I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. He must stand up. <laughs> Somebody just come. Did Nigerians deport Ghanaians too? Did Nigerians say they, they must call say Nigerians deport Ghanaians? So because Nigerians deport Ghanaians, it's okay the way Europeans are deporting Africans. The idiot no understand say both the one way Nigeria deport, both the one way got uh, Europeans they deport, both the ones way Tunisians they deport are all African people. The question is why are African people? Being deported. Maybe we did it to ourselves in South Africa. Maybe we did it to ourselves in South Africa. Maybe we did it to ourselves in Nigeria. They deported Nigerians from South Africa. They deported Nigeria. Oh God, the question is why are Africans being deported? Don't, because, as I said before, these same people, when uh, <laughs> Europeans experienced terrorist attack for, say, America, let's say, uh, they go blow America now, or one terrorist shoot some place for America. America say, "Eh, hey, we are going to fight, destroy these people. They are wicked terrorists." Now, God help America. God save America. All of us will see. None of these people will come and say, 
So, maybe Americans shoot themselves in the cinema. Maybe Americans shoot themselves in the school. America even go to children's school. Children, babies in their classroom, and America kill, they kill themselves there. America kill themselves in the park. America kill themselves. In... Why are they angry if terrorists come to kill them? Maybe Americans kill them. You, have you heard these people say such thing before? Eh? Have you heard any Americans say such a thing? Eh, any of these black people say such a thing when Americans are talking about terrorism? She be like American man for Las Vegas. They for Mandalay Bay Hotel. Put automatic rifle for window. Kill like 500 people. One American guy. They don't forget. Like three years, four, five years ago or so. Yes. I remember because now the next day I go see Carlos Santana for the same Las Vegas. The day after the shooting, I was in Las Vegas. So I remember it was 2017. My album came out 2018. So I went to see him in 2017. Has anybody said that before? Now everybody, they shout. Say, eh, Israel. Is punishing the whole Palestinian for the action of Hamas. Israel is punishing the whole Palestinian for the um and what's it called? Crime of Hamas. Make America. Because they don't understand that these people always give collective punishment to the global south. If you are a poor country, now all your citizens must pay for the crime where anybody commits. That's why three boys can do something in Dubai. They'll come and say they are banning the old Nigerians from coming to UAE. Yeah, they are banning. I see Arab people don't commit crime here. How many times we say we are banning the whole Arab people from coming to our country? Do we do that? But because you are poor, I'm telling you that this thing is not because of you, it's because of them. Nasser go the best for Nasser. Say one person do something. They say they're all Nigerians. Does it make sense to you? Al Qaeda will bomb America. America will go and destroy the whole of Iraq, destroy the whole of Afghanistan. In fact, the person that did it is from Saudi Arabia, but they don't go touch Saudi Arabia. Why? So how can what do you expect Israel to do? Israel is controlled by America. If Hamas does something in Israel, Israel must behave in the racist way of their masters. She America go investigate uh, uh, to go arrest the people of Al Qaeda. Not be the whole country of Iraq they go destroy. Three million Iraqis dead based on a lie. What did Iraqi people do? What did the Afghans, Afghanistani people do? Almost two million Afghanistani people killed for a, a crime they know nothing about. At the end of the day, where they find Bin Laden for Pakistan, they say they don't kill him. Obama kill Osama. Nobody can tell you that's no be script. Uh -uh. Say Obama kill Osama. It's a script. I beg, I beg, I beg. It's too right. It's too right. So that's what they do. I like, say, uh, we wait for stay for this house. We be mugu. Start to be mugu. And I'm surprised. Say the world journalists, press, thought leaders, everybody. We continue to the ask the people when they teach these people the evil. Say, may they tell them to stop. To make people feel like they don't get power. That they are powerless to stop this evil. That will not be organized outside of their own institutions to stop the nonsense that they perpetuate for this world. Because America is the king of collective punishment for the crime. That's what they do war on drugs for America. You know, when I hear Afri African American leaders, they for news, they talk like they don't know their own history. They, they, they pick and choose what to talk to confuse people. You know, you understand that the mainstream media, even the so-called uh, left-wing media of the world, all these people they follow, I say they be, they be, uh, uh, I don't even know if they call them again. Completely missing the point. Point out the contradictions. America too carry out war on drugs. I say they say war on drugs because of people they sell drugs for black community. Now all black people they sell drugs. Now all of us not be multi-millionaire. It's a few people in the community. In fact. For every community, 
the smallest child know who be the drug dealer. The smallest child know the drug dealers. Know who the house, the stash house, where they go sell drug. Everybody know. Police go say they no know. Only police do they know. They need to investigate, investigate the whole world. To investigate now means they're terrorizing the whole community. Thousands, tens of thousands, in fact, millions of black people have been roped up in the so-called war on drugs. Their lives destroyed. Just like millions of lives in Gaza have been destroyed because of the crime of Hamas. So-called crime. So-called crime. Because to me, is it a crime to defend yourself and your land? Is it a crime to revenge the death of your mother and your children? I don't know. I don't know if it's a crime. I don't know if it's so-called. It's so-called to me, me more. I don't, I don't I cannot honestly say that if I was in their position, I know we don't strap up in my green and green and mass outfit. <laughs> Olu Hamio. The annoying part is that upon further investigation, we find that the American government even has a hand in the so-called drug trade, in the distribution of the drugs of crack into the black community. The same reason they went to destroy the black community, America is complicit in the drug distribution. It was exposed by a journalist called Gary Webb of the Washington Post in the 80s. Now, so all the journalists jump on the man, say the man they crazy, he's lying. Upon all the evidence with this guy, they, this world they, is wicked, though. See me, I tell you now, don't try to convince them oh, that you're telling the truth, though. Don't try, even with your evidence, with all the evidence in the world. You can't convince these people, oh. though. They, they call you crazy man. See, the day you die, this one is mad, it's crazy. So that nobody even pays attention to the evidence you are showing. They'll just lip, stamp crazy for your head. And they tell you, they will just find one name, give you. Gary Webb was shouting and showing every, how America is, the CIA is the one sponsoring the Sandanista, uh, I mean, the con contrast fighting the Sandanista in Nicaragua with the cocaine money, that they are the ones bringing this con uh, uh, the contrast, are the ones bringing the drugs back into America and selling in the black neighborhoods. That they are using the money to go and fund the war that they are fighting with the Sandanistas with the CIA's knowledge. They say the man they mad. They say the man they craze. But the man no give up. Last, last, they found him in his house. Committed, say he don't commit suicide. Google his name, Gary Webb. Google it. They say he commits suicide. And now he commits suicide. Now now he commits suicide. He shoots himself for head two times. I repeat, for the smart ones among us, they say he commits suicide. Say he shoots himself for head two times. Hey. <coughs> They say he shoots himself for head. I repeat, he shoots himself for head two times. <laughs> he first give himself the first one. Bang! He the call member say eat the Chinese feet. You say Chinese feet, you don't feel die once. When they give back, bang! Yeah! You're gonna die the second. I'll find out one. But this one are the wild, wild west Chinese style. <laughs> G, listen. The same reason go see. The same reason go and Google Hamas and Netanyahu and Israel. Go and Google Hamas Netanyahu. Israel, Israel has a hand, complete hand, in the creation of Hamas. Because when PLO, the PLO, the Palestine Liberation Organization, or uh, sorry, the PLF, Palestine Liberation Front, was going for peace, they refused armed conflict with Israel. They were going for peace. The world was supporting the peace process. Netanyahu and his goons did not want peace. They started to sponsor Hamas to undermine PLF. To the people of Gaza, millions of dollars was seen transported to Hamas by Israel. This is all in check. Your it's all there in the news. It's open. It's not even hidden. Today is that Hamas that is the reason 
Israel is destroying Gaza. The way the drug that they brought to the black community in America is the reason America destroy the black community. Then the, the, thought, the intelligent people of the world, the professors, the journalists, the billionaires, everybody now want to talk about this. Oh, America, please, put the ceasefire. Ceasefire. <laughs> Most of the African elites all over the world are nothing but white supremacists. So, just want to let you know that it's America that is gingery. The Jews are controlling, the Jews are the evil. The now, brothers, even the so called Zionists, because not all Jews, just the way not all African people that are destroying Africa, that we are all victims of the actions of a few of us. So, when people like Kanye West are coming, the Jews, this is how people trying to make you turn you to a white supremacist. To cement you in hate because they cannot talk against their masters that are paying them they don't want to say the truth they want to blame marginalized people of the world victims when they tell you the jews control the media who writes the laws that the jews used to control the media without the laws of europeans without the laws of america can the jews operate their media the way they'll come out in 50 years from now, they tell you uh, black people control sports. Black people are the ones controlling sports. <laughs> because you are the ones running around the field, doing the press work on TV or the pundit talk. Are you, the, are you the ones making the real money from sports? Are you the ones making money from sports? Are you the ones? The Zionists. You must understand Zionism. And separate the actions of the Zionists from the action of Jews. The Zionists are the black elites of the Jewish world who are in hand in hand, married to white supremacy. That all they do is want to be accepted to white world, taking their orders from their masters, hand in hand. So they must bring the global punishment. They must bring the global punishment. General punishment for everybody. If one Nigerian do something, they will pass a law against all Nigeria. If one person do something, they will bomb one whole person country. That's what they do. That's what they do. Understand them. Understand your position. That's why we create the MOP. Not just as a political movement, but to help you raise your consciousness. So you know what this politics we are talking truly is. The battleground. Where is the battleground? Many Nigerians that want, want to fight a battle, they don't even know where the battleground is. Many of them don't even know what the battle is. Talk more of the battleground. So to touch on the topic of the day, because are the two sides I want to talk about with that, the collective punishment of the global south, and I want to talk about this Jakba to Sakba. Because I want to advise all my brothers to do that are escaping to Europe and America with their family. You know, say so you meet black people there. These black people you all look down on, in the UK, all these yo bro, all the yab, all these people, when you say that their children they rob for street, they sell drugs, they stab people. Who do you think their parents were? Who do you think their parents are? Who do you think their grandfathers are? They are you 30 years ago. Just 30 years here. Those are your grandchildren you are seeing. Not your children. Might not be your children, but those might be your children self you are seeing. Already. Look at the black community there. That's when you think uh, people arrive from Jamaica, the Caribbean. You think they arrive in UK to come and sell drug? Hmm? You think that's how they arrive in the UK? You think that Jamaicans arrive from the Caribbean and all those people that came? They just arrive, begin to sell gun, say stab people. They, you think they just that they just arrive in the UK like that? They all arrive like you, professionals. Their grandfathers. Go and list. Go and check the wind rush generation just the way and i'll tell you why europeans like to import immigrant workers en masse it happens in certain period in european society that they do these things anytime where european society don't they get internal class conflict i repeat whenever european society is experiencing internal class conflict you know now we'll be african people now be class mugu. In the hair, African people now be class mugu. Ah, 
I like that's why I like to do this live. <laughs> the amount of lyrics when they come outside, eh? This live is the best thing in my life. I they call. Apart from my daughter, apart from my daughter, and my music. I could write this song. I'll find a way to incorporate it inside. You know? You know, now we for Africa will be class mugu. We don't understand our position really in society vis a vis the elite of our society. See, Europeans understand that. So, whenever for their society, whenever for their society, cost of living don't they get too high, they understand immediately that it's because their elites are beginning to make too much money. So Europeans in general begin to agitate for a larger share of that economy. Knowing fully well, like right now, the cost of living for UK, let's use UK as an example, is high. You can see strike in every sector in the UK, from doctor to nurse to train worker to teacher. Everybody is striking in the UK, left, right and center. This is a symptom of class warfare. And their elites, in order to bargain with them, in order to put themselves in position of leverage, they import workers from all over the world to come and do the jobs those people are refusing to do. You understand me? Doing the work that Europeans are refusing, refusing to do. Do you understand me? So in this period, America, this Canada, you are talking, UK, they want you people to be there. Because they know you even, and they are not showing their, their they are showing their own people, they, they show them, say, see, we even they pay you well. Because these people, they will do it for less than what you are getting now. They are willing to do it for less than what you are getting now. Those people say, eh, hey, okay, now we we'll go shut them down. Most where they go work, we we'll go come up for the work. Make only they can't do them now. I only know if it do they need their people back because of the level of expertise for sure is all part of their bargaining but in the moment of this bargaining europeans always make sure they do one thing they make sure that they don't have any liberal government they make sure that all the governments are conservative are right wing as racist as possible as racist as that society can be publicly all European societies make sure that they move to the right drastically to the right. So that's why in the UK, conservatives won't be there. Look at look the whole elections so what they happen for Europe right now. They are voting in right wing, right wing, right wing, right wing, right wing, fascist, right wing, and fascist. That's all because they are in the middle of bargaining with their people. They no one make mistake. Make the Congo BC they will give a uh, social benefit because those things will be institutionalized. Then on our way, they pack come on our come they benefit from those things. Go and look at how them create their own middle class when African people no get access to any of their institutions in the 40s and 50s, where Africans were second class citizens. You cannot vote, no African man could vote anywhere in the 50s. You can't vote. Even in Africa, we couldn't vote for anything. Go and look at how institutions ran. Almost everything in this world was given for free to their people. The so-called middle class, all their house for America, the free house, free land. Check these histories. But as soon as we begin to reclaim our humanity, begin to become so-called citizens of these places, they enter to these places, they begin to do it in, remove those things, all those safeguards. Because they don't want African people, whether you like it, say you be African American, whether you say you be African European, African England, whatever it say you be, they don't want me to get access to those things. And the same thing is happening now. So I'm not saying you know Jack Powell, but please remember, I swear, if you say you don't go, say, please look, I say, go study the Windrush generation. After these people don't use them, finish. Now, they don't say these Caribbeans don't wise. They don't say Caribbeans don't know them. 
The Caribbean's don't wise. They don't think go lord them as they like come for you. Yeah, yeah. They don't be wise. Then now they won't go back to Jamaica. Then they want to go back home. That's why they're now using Africans. Before now Caribbeans mostly. These people started to deport the Windrush people back to their country. People don't stay for UK 50 years. We don't work for hospital, do doctor, work as teacher, do everything, retire. UK begin revoke their stay. The ones who no greet on to citizens, you know. We don't do citizenship, we just they use their paper. We still believe, say, yeah, I'll be Jamo, you know. UK won't begin, they, they, they deport 80 year old people after they don't serve or stay all their life for UK, no get family, any fa they don't know anybody for Jamaica, for Bahamas. They begin to send them back. It was a big scandal, big movement to end that rubbish in less than two generations. Look at the life of Caribbean people in the UK. Of their children in less than two generations those things where you know they say i take better past them because i don't understand the mindset where we africans we as the africans when they come from this kind of oppression they enter that place i don't understand the mindset where they carry go you think you are more intelligent than those caribbeans you think you are better than them or more you see those in fact <laughs> I know she say we our own go even reach two generations. I know she because before we come up for Niger go, the kind of what they do here. Before we never come up for Niger, the kind of things what they do here. Uh, <laughs> they can't reach two generations. They can't reach two generations. Because now when they love they say their children they for street, they stab person. You want stab it? Wait. You think you are taking your children to safety? Abi? I know say more I know Jack Powell. I thought the point to now. Mona say she won't say nobody should travel because now the next week they will talk with that. She won't say nobody should travel. He say if you travel, your children will become criminal. Now lie you. Nobody she won't talk with that too. She won't just say study where she they go into. Look where those ones where they before you. One, two generations. Look at their children. So you can understand the fate. So you say will know how to adjust your May you no go be from Jackpa to Sakpa. Yes. From Jackpa. No go go from Jackpa to because Jackpa is sweet. Because over there, Kosaye Lati Tomo. There's no time to raise your children. They use you so much. Everybody working so hard. We leave our children to their society to raise. And their society has plans for black children. Those plans, I'm sorry, you might not like it. The plans that they have for black children, you might not like it, my brother. So why you are jackpying? To make sure that it doesn't end in Sakpa. Make sure you prepare yourself. Learn from the mistakes with those before us don't make. So you go on that certain work, you go work there. Because many of the say they don't become Americans. They say they don't become British. They say they don't become Europeans. Now come visit us here just to stunt on us. To dirty our December and go back. No. Remember where they come from. Not be about to build one house or say you won't build one house. No. In the capacity where those Europeans will make you serve them. Yes, yeah, serve them. Learn. But Mr. C, you come back to regurgitate that knowledge. Your ambition must be to bring that knowledge back in service of the development of your own nation. You wait to say you want jackpot, say you don't establish. You are now European. My brothers and sisters, we are not special. Oh, let me remove that O from so you will not say that. We are not special. Oh, don't talk and together. Bring the O after. <laughs> hmm. We are not special. Oh. Hmm. Look what you enter. Our brothers who don't deal with them for America for 200 years. We work, be do America, we they enslave. We slave, they don't pay their she she. Have they given them any form of justice? They don't pity them. Say, ah, these people will suffer like this. Let's even pity them. 
you why you going to say you, you are going to be different because you are working that your own ancestor your own children your for your generations yet unborn will be treated any better than those ones that also worked even work for free you at least they pay you salary this ones work for free work to their bones work to death they see the business they did change their children they did lock their children up they did send their children go jail they did call their children nigger they did spit for their face so now you two won't go work are you going man and they pay you salary so what is in store really for your own children down the road <laughs> what is in store Because every generation, not be all of them, all of them can't be Jay Z. Every generation that one Jay Z come aside, or two Jay Z or three max. In the nineties hip hop, how many people, apart from Jay Z, um, you are still here. Puff Daddy, eh hey, eh hey, Puff Daddy, eh hey. When I left Fifty Cent, call my life, eh hey, Puff Puff Daddy. They don't move out for setting. Oh, yeah. Listen, all of us know if be Jay Z. We all cannot be Jay Z. That's not that can't be the goals, fam. You are setting, and that's why they make, they won't make all of us feel, feel like say we did special than the next person. Eh, hey, me I go be Jay Z or not lie. Yeah, me go be next damn good Lies, fam. Lies. It is. It is more realistic. That you fight for a stable and comfortable life than the extravagant life. And in fact, the saddest thing of all, we say our our earth, our planet itself cannot supply that life for everybody. If all of us suddenly become billionaires today and we begin to consume like all these billionaires consume, our planet will run out of resources. America is less than uh, one third of the world is less than sorry america is less than three percent of the world population yet america alone america alone consumes 25 percent of the world's resources of the world's energy resources in fact if everybody in this world was to live the way an american lived not even the rich ones now if we are all to take the American standard, if we all reach the American standard of living, we would need 4.2 Earths. We would need 4.2 Earths to sustain. This lifestyle is not sustainable. What you aspire to is not, so, is not healthy for our planet. Are we that selfish? Are we that blind? Are we that mesmerized by the lies of TV and social media and all these stupid rich people that we really believe this lie? Because the truth about this lie is that it can't, it, it, we don't have it for everybody. The earth doesn't have that life for everybody. In fact, the earth does not allow for anybody to live that life. That life is against natural law. That's why the earth has to continue to be worse. People have to continue to die. All these negative things have to continue to happen in this world. Because people are living against the will of nature, thinking that they are better than nature. And at the end of the day, when evil things happen to them, they will say, start crying by force. Start crying by force. If you don't cry by force, you are a wicked person. Brothers and sisters, the world cannot give you everybody dangote nonsense life it's facts the earth cannot sustain it what we should aspire to is to act, be so, to live in balance with earth the earth can provide for everybody to be comfortable so these people instead of allowing for everybody to be comfortable they take one person would take something that is meant for 10 million people and claim it for only themselves and give one kind of stupid reason. And if you talk against the reason, they will shoot you. That's the world we live in. One person will take something that's supposed to be for 100 million people. If you talk, he will shoot you. 
So now, they understand that they cannot shoot everybody. They cannot shoot everybody. So now, what is the action to take is to lie. That don't worry. This thing that I'm doing, all of you can also do it. Just keep working hard. They don't worry. One of it is a lie. It's a lie. I always tell everybody, I use Abiola as the example. Abiola was the richest man. He's dead now. Name one Abiola company that is doing well. Or any of his children that is the richest man, the next richest man. Because after his father, now nah, he too is. Name one. So we must remove our mind from these false aspirations. Yes, jackpot all you like, strive for yourself. Yes, I understand. But please, we must remember our talent must still be brought back, or else you are falsely trusting a system that has nothing but negative plans for you. That has nothing but negative plans for you. The same mistake a white child will make and will get a slap on the wrist and they'll tell that white child to go home and meet his parents. Your own child will make that same mistake. They will ruin his life with police record immediately. They will just ruin his life immediately with police record. People that live in Europe and America understand what the police record is. Anyway, please, as you the jackpot, know which you the jack enter so that your jackpot not turn to sapper. Thank you very much.